Yes guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to Amsterdam with three of my friends and I'm going to bring you guys along as well. Without further ado, let's get into the video. I'll see you soon when I get in the cab. Our well, flight was super early, so we were lucky that the roads were nice and quiet. Should have taken quite a long time, but it only took about half an hour to 45 minutes to get to Gatwick Airport. We were going to go to Weatherspoons, but the queue was so long, so I ended up having this as my breakfast. Not bad for a meal deal. We departed from the airport. There was nice weather in England, to be fair. It's been really nice recently and really, really hot. So let's hope it was the same in Amsterdam when we got there for our holiday. The flight was only about 45 minutes as well. One of the shortest flights I've ever been on. And a smooth flight as well. Here we're landing into Schiphol Airport, ready for our holiday. On the way to the hotel, yeah, catch up with you in a minute, check in, and then we'll head out in a bit. We went in a shuttle bus to the hotel from the airport, but stay tuned for a twist of what happened next. So this guy, we took us to the wrong hotel, no. and now we finally made it to the right one. Yeah, hey, get off my bed, man! But yeah, we made it, baby. Let's check out. Oh, I'm staying here then. <laughs> you can sleep standing up in the. In the oh, We went into the city for lunch at this restaurant here. There was a lot of choice, but I went for a pizza. It was a lovely day as well. We sat outside, had some drinks and enjoyed our food. I'd recommend this place a lot. First time I'm having a beer, ever. Not ever, but like, it's very rare. Cheers. 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 Leng. Come on, we get mine. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that enjoy, is the I best one. coming to Amsterdam for Italian food, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you said you were beast. I hate it. Really. I hate it from the office. So I'm at a bar huh? right now. Uh, my, one of my best mates from uni, I'll come visit, she lives out here. So we're having a little drink. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my vlog so far. Not, not yet. Cheers. Cheers. Oh well. <laughs> I forgot. Special. So we've returned to the hotel room, we're going to have a shower, then head back out. After meeting Terry, we might meet up with her again. We had a few drinks, we chilled by the canals, but yeah, it was all good. Afternoon of the first day, bring on the evening. Still got to go for dinner, haven't decided where yet, uh, but let's see what happens in the next clip. In a bit. Yes, so we made it to Terry's house. Hey, he's in. So we made it. 
after having a shower and freshening up. I'm gonna chill here for a bit. I'm gonna go get some food. I'll see you later. We went to a pool bar, but after we went to the pool bar, we went here, Chipsy King. It's great, they serve halal food as well. I had a doner kebab with lamb, chips. I would definitely recommend this restaurant if you were to come to Amsterdam. Next, we had to have some dessert. I ordered myself some churros, and here you can see they're making the churros there, fresh. I had Nutella on the churros, and it was incredible, especially after a long day and a big dinner. Yes guys, I've just woken up. I forgot to end last night's vlog, but what we're gonna do today, we we'll potentially go to the Ajax Stadium, have some breakfast in central Amsterdam, and see you in a minute. We jumped on the tram to go get ourselves some bikes. How can you not ride a bike when you come to Amsterdam? Stop at any point, I'm stopping, mate. Huh? The bikes were 20 euros to rent each for one day, which I think was great value. As you can see, I filmed it by strapping it to the basket at the front of my bike. Don't worry, I wasn't holding the camera. But be careful, because if you lose the key to your bike, it will cost you 500 euros. We went for breakfast at Joe and the Juice. The food was incredible, the staff was so helpful, and I would highly recommend this Joe and the Juice if you come to Amsterdam Central. I had a ham and cheese toasty with a banana, apple and orange juice. We sat by the canal and ate our breakfast and took in the view of the first morning. What a view it was. Yes guys, so we cycled from Joe and the Juice to Ajax home stadium, so we're gonna have a look around buy a couple of shirts. Well, I'm going to do a giveaway as well. So watch to see how you can enter that giveaway. I'm going to take you on a little tour around uh, the Ajax home stadium. It's a quite impressive stadium from the outside. I hope it uh, proves to be on the inside as well. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. I'm searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there. It's in the air. Like a blazing flare Just say it cause the flames will burn us I thought you were the one for me That's why I gave you everything Held you close by the stormy seas Oh, you meant the world to me You kiss your head when you cried for me Hold your hand while the pain Yes guys, welcome back to Ali Shin Football from Ajax Stadium. I'm out of the match, as you can see. That's Ali, after today's game, do you think you'd be able to play again for the team? No, I'm injured, <laughs> as usual. <laughs>
came to this steakhouse after we went to the Ajax Stadium. I must say the staff working there, they're really, really helpful. But on the food side of things, my calamari was really plain and some of the dishes were quite basic as well. We expected a lot more from a place that was really, really expensive. My steak was 30 euros, I asked for it medium and it came back very rare. And the salad was very, very dry and same with my friends here. The food was quite plain and I wouldn't recommend coming here if you were to come to Amsterdam. After that, Five. we went to Glow Mini Golf. We came here on the recommendation of Terry. And it was really, really good fun. It was so hot downstairs in the basement. It was a bit crazy with all the lights when you wore the 3D glasses, but I had a great time and so did my friends as well. Yesterday we went out for a couple of drinks in the evening. So as I promised yesterday, I do have a giveaway. So here's how to enter. So on this video, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. If you do all those three things, each time you comment is a different entry. So the more times you comment, the more chance you'll have of winning the giveaway. So what is the giveaway? So as I posted on my YouTube, my Instagram yesterday, it's some Ajax merchandise. Specifically, it's an Ajax scarf. So as I said, if you want to win it, Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to my channel so each comment is a different entry to the giveaway. Without further ado, let's get into the day, our final full day in Amsterdam and let's see what we get up to. So this place, we went for brunch. I don't know if I'm saying this correctly, but I think it was called Omelette and the food was absolutely incredible. The one downside of this place was that the food took quite a long time to come, but I had a feta cheese and salami omelette and you can see what my friends had as well. We finished off the plates very, very quickly because we were so hungry. We had to return the bikes to any shop. There's about 18 or 19 dotted around the city, which is great. As I said, we rented it for a day. We cycled everywhere about 35 kilometers and we gave them back the following day. After that, we went to the Heineken factory and you can see a photo of it now. We didn't know what to expect, but we had a great time at the Heineken experience. There's going to be someone like me in each room explaining what's going on, um, whether it be the history or how many years made, anything else. You can always ask us any questions you might have. But we're going to start with this uh, brewery here. We're going to start a little bit with the history. So this was technically not our first brewery, but it was definitely our biggest and our best. The one that we spent the most amount of time, effort and money in. Our very first brewery was called the Heuberg, which means the, the, the Heistack in Dutch. And this was located just behind the palace on Downs.
this guys i'm not going to vlog tonight because it's my last night in amsterdam but i do hope you enjoyed the video so far my first time vlogging i brought you along with me so i'll catch up with you tomorrow morning when it's our final day so we've got to check out by 11 30 and then we've got to go don't know what we're going to do yet probably visit a museum then our flight is in the evening tomorrow then i'll be home and that's why i'll end the vlog properly so i'll see you in a bit Yes guys, so today's our final day. I didn't vlog last night because I wanted to enjoy the last night. But we went for dinner and had some drinks. So let's see what we do during the day and then we'll check out. Let's see you in the next clip. We came to this restaurant called The Carousel for lunch. The service was really good from one of the waitresses. She was very happy and she was very smiley. But one of the other waiters that bought our food, he complained that our food was hot and he whacked our plates on the table. And he said that about a couple of other tables and we heard others complain. Although this did happen, the food was really, really nice. And I would recommend going to this restaurant if you came to Amsterdam. I had a coffee with whipped cream. I don't normally have coffee. And here, I had a pancake with ham, cheese and egg on it. You can see what my friends had. We all had pancakes of some sort. And the orange juice there was incredible too. We were going to go to the Van Gogh Museum. We were walking up to it there, but we didn't realize we needed tickets and it was sold out for the day. We took the tram to another museum in a different part of the town called the Torture Museum. We went for one last drink in town and went back to our hotel to pick up the bags. So that's the end of the holiday already. A quick four day trip that we enjoyed thoroughly. Here you can see us landing back at Gatwick Airport in the English sunshine. So yes guys, that's the end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me to Amsterdam. So the day after we flew back, I was very tired last night from a hectic four days. But as I said, make sure you enter the giveaway if you want a chance to win that Ajax scarf. But if you enjoyed that video and coming along with me to Amsterdam, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And don't forget, I'll see you later for more.